building. Yes, but we'll cut out okay, cool. any bit that shows our house. Because I was going to say. Um, a stick. Oh, your stick. Okay, I'll wait here. So, Douglas, far are we gone? Right. If we're going to do the same thing as Ryan, who goes Ryan. Uh, your name is Douglas. My name is Doug. <laughs> or do you want to go quack quack? No, no. Doug. I'm not a quack quack, I'm a woof. I see, okay. And we're walking along in the sun uh, because it's 23 degrees, apparently. Mm. This is exceptional, so we're going to walk up to the village. Well, during the lockdown, we're allowed out once a day for our exercise. Yeah. Hiya. We were just saying hello to... Some neighbours. Well, we don't know them, but people here greet each other. Yeah. This is not up yet. That's okay. Maybe if you had a bad night. Mm. Uh, if we turn around here, we can show these signs. What do they say? Home zone? Yes. Our Our street is called the home zone. There's no, if you look at the ground, it's not tarred like the normal street. And home zone means cars can come in, but if, if you're visiting or if you're if you stay here. But you should expect to see pedestrians in the middle of the road because yes. it's a shared space. And children are allowed yeah. to play. For any of you I speak to at the moment on Messenger, this is the area of ground behind our house with the birch trees, and the grass which is cut by the local council and where people come to walk their dogs. Right, now we're behind the house, behind our street, at the other side of the birch trees. And I can hear the wood pigeons. Do you think oh, the same now. couple that come to our garden? It could be. I was saying to Caleb just now that uh, the wood pigeons always seem to come together as if they're a couple. Mm. But they look exactly the same. Maybe they're a gay wood pigeon couple. Ha, 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 <laughs> ha. I don't know how to tell the difference between male and female. It's easier with blackbirds, isn't it? Yes. The male blackbirds are really black with a bright Orange yellow beak. beak. But the female blackbirds are a dirty sort of black. Yes. They're more camouflaged and they oh. don't have the red beak. Sorry, orange beak. Oh, where are those things? Mm -hmm. um, and look at these. I'm going to tell a story about Eddie from my IELTS class in Taiwan. I said, whatever you do, don't touch those because they sting. It's called nettle. And he said, ha, 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 ha. So he grabbed one and he said, see? And then one second later, ah, ah, he was screaming. 
I said, well, wait a minute. Well, it's called stinging nettle for a reason. Yes. I said, well, wait a minute. I can't see any just now. There's another plant which usually grows next side, oh, what, beside next nettles. Yes, um, but they've been cutting the plants here. No, I can't see any no. dock Do leaves. Dock leaves. Um, if you get stung by the nettles, get the dock leaf and um, rub, your, rub it in your hand and that will ease the pain. But again, when I told him that, he said, no. But he did try at the end, didn't he? Yes, and it did work. Well, he had to, because um, he, he was, was in pain. agony. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so hot! <laughs> or as we say here, feta heat. Well, it's 23. Look at the bluebells. Aren't they sweet? I'm looking at to see if I can see the birds. I can hear them, but I can't see them. We're going uphill, so we're panting a wee bit. Because we're no fit, aren't we? No. I sometimes have a rest. As we go up there. But it's such a bonny day. When the weather is good, this is what you say here in Scotland. Fit a bonny day. Well, fit a bonny day for Aberdeen. But a bonny day describes a good day. Right, social distancing. Mm -hmm. Hiya. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> it's you. I hardly thought, I hardly recognized you with your masks on. Keep uh, on <laughs> We're paranoid. Hi. Hello. Oh. We don't go anywhere without these. No, they're just as well too. I think I may have to wear something like that. One. I think it's safer oh, you because will. you'll have you to see strangers from all over the place. Household. And am I right in thinking the mask keeps you safe, but it doesn't stop you passing it on? Or is it the other way around? It's they, both. It's really? both. Okay. It's both. You hear I mean, so many different things. I'm yes, I know. I'm, I'm so fed up with the things they say on the TV about them. They do give you some protection, yes. but both ways. Yeah. I managed to get a hold of the ones that was recommended by the World Health Organization for industry. All right. FFP2 or something. Okay. That's good. But then I read it wasn't that one, it was FFP3. Oh. What's the difference? I don't know, honestly, Ken. Look but exactly the same. Anything yeah. you can get your hands on. Some sort of face covering. It'll yeah. help. Yeah. Are you both fine? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Struggling on? Oh. Claire. Oh, I know. <laughs> I've seen a lot of... I need you. I know, I've seen a lot of... I did this myself. You're fine. <laughs> I, no, I, I just shaved a lot off. <laughs> you're fine. It's still a little shorter than you're used to. Yes. Isn't it? Weather like this, it doesn't matter. Yes, it's a beautiful day. You're not getting out as much, don't you see you? <laughs> He's hiding. Oh, How are you doing? Oh, fine. Just, I'm missing the shop. I bet. She's missing school. Oh. She's, Mum's not as good teacher as Miss Brady, is she not? Oh, <laughs> she's agreeing. <laughs> oh, I shall definitely agree. But I'm sure Mummy does her best. I try my best, yes. Yeah. It must be difficult for our parents to. It's Matthew, to act my as middle one. He's yeah. S4, he would have been taking his exams. Uh -huh. Luckily, he's staying on for next year. But is he trying to get him to do any sort of work? He, he feels like he's on holiday. Uh huh. Yes. He's still in bed. So it's oh, that sort of thing. I know someone who's a bit like that. <coughs> <coughs> I've been doing um, chat sessions uh -huh. with students abroad or, or people abroad. Yeah. Not, I'm not, not charging for them. No, no. Just saying, look, I'm bored. If you want to chat. Yeah, it keeps you active and mm -hmm. gives you something to do. And yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. The, um, I've just oh, well. done one just now. Well, take care, and I hope to see you in the barber soon. I hope to see you in the barber <laughs> soon. <laughs> I was hoping Nicola Sturgeon might have some good news for us today, but I think it's probably more likely to be Monday now, I think. Mm. Yes. We'll see what she says. Oh, by the way, do you know the shop, uh, what's it called, Nicola and Dine uh -huh. in, in Veruri? Yeah. Um, Quarry has 
the charity that looks after this area in terms of PPE, um, they said if you want to get a uh, mask, you can try that shop, but I haven't. Uh -huh. I did actually see some. I think I've liked them on Facebook. Uh -huh. I think I've seen somebody modelling uh -huh. a black one or something uh -huh. like that. So I need to go and get uh, Mrs. Birthday next week. <gasps> so we need uh -huh. to go and get balloons. Yay! So I'll How old there. are you next week? Six. Six? Well, you're a big girl now. Wow. Six on your birthday. Yeah. And we just went left to ride our bike last week, so. Hey! Doing well. You are doing well. Yeah. I, when I was, oh, I think I must have been about 11, I could not ride my bike. Don't pull from out this car because up here. Until 11 you can ride? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> right. People would hold the back and I'd go a little bit and as soon as they let go, I oh, fell. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing very well. Oh, well, at six you're doing well. Very well. Right. I like your dog. Oh, she's a good dog. She's a yeah. good girl. Typical Jack Russell. Just Jack Russell. Uh, uh, all my right. attitude. And Does she yap? When a bird or something in the garden, and somebody walking past the house, yeah, she's yes. get away from my house. Mm -hmm. She's all barking. No, no. As long as she doesn't bite. No, she doesn't bite. She's never <laughs> bitten. Take care. Right. Yeah, you See too. ya. See you soon. Bye. <coughs> right, we were stopping to chat to the local barber. We go to every couple of weeks, but of course recently it's just not happened. And she's hoping to get back to work soon, but it all depends on this lockdown thing. It's such a small village, you just bump into people you know. Yes. I think Kathleen lives down there somewhere. Oh, yes. But I'm not sure. And then up here, on the left, there's a, a house where... Oh, Sally. Our cat sitter used to, well, well she gave up her business. still does live there, but <laughs> she gave up the business. I hope she's doing okay. Well, she had hip problems, didn't yes, she? Yes, yes. She was well known in the village, or she is well known in the village, because she, if you, if you left your <coughs> dog, she would uh, visit your dog and take it out for a walk. And she did boarding as well. Yes, and she used to uh, visit our cats when we were away. Well, this is rather a worrying place. This is the care home. Is one of the only two, or the other one is um, sheltered housing? All right. People are out exercising. Yes. But it's still important to keep a distance, especially so, they're that, not wearing masks. Does that mean we've, if we're exercising, we've got to run? <laughs> You've got to pant, sweat. Hiya. Hello. Oh my god, look at the Union Jacks. 
British Legion. Oh God. VE Day. VE Day. We won the war. Rubbish. That was nice to see a, an elderly couple holding hands as they walked up the street. Uh huh. And that last person that we talked to, the two people who walked past, no idea who they were. <laughs> but you just greet. <laughs> Oof. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful day. Beautiful, isn't it? It is. We're going to make it. <laughs> just about. <laughs> it's a struggle, though, isn't it? Yeah. Not me. Thank you for your Definitely not. Right, there's a queue outside okay. Berries. Are you bailing? I'm bailing. It is hot, isn't it? 23. Oh, they've, they've got... Oh, they've got Scottish flags as well. Yeah. Right. We're joining the queue. Join in the queue as well. Yeah. You go first. <coughs> right, so we're queuing to get in. Uh, well, it's not garden centre, what is it? It's, uh, it's weird to say it, it does just about everything. Uh -huh. And we're here for the suet balls for the. For the birds. For the bird. I was going to say for the cats. No, we don't have cats here. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> hmm? Yes? I can't be as exuberant as Ryan. Ah. It's hot. It's just hot. Yes? I was just going to say it is hot, but nobody in Taiwan would think this was hot. <laughs> right, on the way back home. What did we buy? <laughs> we went to buy some suet balls, which the birds love to eat. Heavy. Mm -hmm. oh, there God, are it fifty is heavy. of them in a bucket. We bought what? Six? Six. We bought six on Saturday. And the birds have almost finished them. Right, that house behind us might not look like much, but it's a listed building. Yes. <clears throat> we know the people who own it, and they... Mr. Okie Dokie. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not allowed to uh, make any alterations to the front because it's a listed building. It's... How old do you think it is? 200 years old. Mm -hmm. Going downhill is much easier. Yes. Maybe I'll run. That's enough. Do you want me to go and get the car? <laughs> no. By the time you went to get the car, I had you there and came around here. True. Because you can't drive up this way. I 
must phone the care home at some point to apologise for your cousin, no, your nephew. nephew's um, lack of sense of responsibility. He was supposed to take a, an armchair, which we don't need anymore, up to them when we were in Japan. And I arranged it with them that he'd be there on the, on the 7th of March. And he didn't do it. <sighs> so I had to speak to them. Somebody's speaking to Sally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, you? Yes? Are you getting about? Yeah. Good, good. You like the boat again? See ya. Well, <laughs> first time in a while that I've walked up. Yeah. Where's the woman stayed this year, so we had to get out today. <laughs> That's because of his. This is what they call the lockdown haircut. <laughs> <laughs> right, nice seeing you. Nice to see you. You take care. Yourself. Yourself. Will do. <coughs> There's no way we could come out without meeting anyone we know. <laughs> And even if we don't meet anyone we know, there's no way we would come out without seeing people who say, aye aye, <laughs> if they're older generation or hello. <coughs> that must be his exercise for the day. Mm -hmm. Good exercise. Mm -hmm. I used to love riding my bike. You might have a problem with your balance now, though. Yes. Be nice to try. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was saying to Charmaine the other day that... I'm here. What I, do you mean, Charmaine? I'm, I'm telling the people on the camera, on the video. I was saying that um, I've always fancied I think they call it sky writing. Um, where you have a, a biplane with a fixture on the top wing uh, in the middle. Um, you get up on there, you're fitted into this, uh, this uh, harness so that you don't fall off and you're standing on the top of the plane in, out in the air and uh, they go for a ride in the sky with you enjoying it from above and I've always fancied doing that <laughs> maybe I should do that a fundraiser for a charity Nick Aureus for my birthday, certainly not Aureus Epilepsy Scotland perhaps well, I was thinking Epilepsy Scotland, but... Animal charity, maybe? No, remembering my mother. All right. Dementia charity. It's not something to do with dementia <coughs> or Alzheimer's. I think I'd be happier to do that. Perfect day for drying your washing. <laughs> Look. Oh, wow. Yes. But... But in that house, she does washing almost every day and it's often hanging out when it's raining. If we turn around... Then we should turn around this way. You can just about see our living room window. Oh, is that wise though? We're going to put this on. 
somewhere there. And we're back to the walkway beside the birch trees. They've really come into leaf in the past couple of weeks. They were almost bare a couple of weeks ago. And there's a plum tree. The blossom's gone. Mm -hmm. Come August, um, there will be, well, tiny mini plums on this tree, but they're quite sweet, actually. Mm -hmm. It doesn't belong to us, but he picks them. I've got the right to forage. <laughs> So compared to Ryan's Osaka town centre, this is completely <laughs> different. Yes, compared to Ryan, there's nothing here, there's no traffic. Uh, there's no tempura, no sushi, no okonomiyaki. No, and I can't be as enthusiastic as he is. I don't have the energy. But it's a nice place to live, I think. It's a lovely place to live. I like it very much. It's relaxing. Right, we're almost home. Bye!